Door jam switch operation in older vehicles is a subject of confusion. Switch and circuit design were different from manufacturer to manufacturer, which can further add to the misconceptions. In this video, we'll cover General Motors and Ford style switch operation. Door jam switches operate when a door is opened, allowing the switch plunger to extend. This makes them a normally open switch. The door opening is what allows the switch to close, completing the circuit. General Motors switches typically use a single wire and are grounded through the switch body and threads. There are some exceptions to this with older style two-wire plastic switches. These have their own ground wire, but operation is otherwise the same. The dome and courtesy lights receive power at all times, but will not function until the door switch completes the ground side of the circuit. A white wire connects to the door jam switch, and when the switch is closed as the door is opened, it connects dome and courtesy lights to ground. This allows power to flow and will illuminate the bulbs. When the door is closed, the plunger moves back into the switch, opening the connection and stopping power flow through the bulbs. Single wire switches are adjusted by screwing them into the door frame and closing the door. This allows them to self-set to correct length. Ford had more of a tendency to switch power at times than GM. Their door jam switches are a good example of this practice. Many vintage Ford vehicles have a dedicated power circuit going into the switch. This is usually an orange wire, which is a fused battery hot feed. When the door is opened, it connects to the blue signal wire for the dome and courtesy lights. The dome light has a ground wire connected to the vehicle body, which is what completes the ground portion of the circuit on these electrical systems. When the door opens, power is passed through the switch to the dome light. Some Ford switches use the same installation and adjustment process as the GM versions during the installation, but as with any part, be sure to check your factory service manual or part instructions for more information. In addition to following us on YouTube, please check us out on Facebook, Carbuff Network, Instagram, and AmericanAutoWire.com.